Let us create a program that can do some mathematical operations. For that, I am going back to my folder where I was creating my Python programs and I will create a new program in Notepad. So I will open Notepad and I will give a name math.py. Python programs will have an extension of .py. So let me open this and I will make use of the same function which is print and as mentioned before, if you are calling a function, it needs to be followed by a parenthesis. The last time we gave a string as an argument. The string was hello world. This time we are not going to be passing a string argument. Rather, we are going to pass a numeric argument. So let us try giving a number like three. And let us see if the print function will be able to print a number. Let us save this and exit out of here. And let us execute this program, python math.py. It was able to print out the number three. So now let's open notepad again. And what if instead of just printing this number, I did some math operation like an addition. Let's try it. Python and pass the program name, which is math.py. And we've got our result, which is seven. Going back to our program, what if I did a subtraction, say 3 minus 4, again execute the program, I got a minus 1. How about division? What if I gave 16 by 2? Let's execute the program. And if, if you are not very familiar with the command prompt, doing a up arrow or down arrow will bring back your previous commands that you typed. So I'm not retyping these things, I'm just using my up arrow to bring back my previous commands. Okay, I'm going to execute this program. So we got 8.0, which is correct. So, so a program consumes the data, does some processing on it, and creates a more useful output. In our examples, the data for our programs were hard-coded directly on the programs. However, in real-world applications, the data comes from outside of the program. The data could come from an user input, or it could be coming from internet, or it could be coming from any external devices, or it could very well be a file on your system. The operations performed on a data is not a simple addition of two numbers. Data typically undergoes complex set of operations to produce the desired output. The output of the data processed in the first step is passed on to the second step and the output from the second step will be passed on to the third step and so on. It so appears that the program needs some placeholder to store these intermediate results from one step so that it can pass them on to the next step. To rerun our program with a different set of inputs, we need to avoid hard codings in the program. Again, we need a placeholder that can source the input data from the outside world and pass on to the operational steps. This placeholder is called a variable. A variable is just a name given to a piece of memory that can be used as a temporary placeholder for your data. Let us create a new program where we can make use of a variable. So let me name this program variable.py. How do I define a variable? It is very simple in Python. Unlike other languages, where you need to first declare a variable and then make use of it later, in Python, you can create a variable and directly assign it to a value. For example, I can create a variable like welcome, welcome string. And I can assign it to a value like hello world. Or I can put like a is equal to 1 or 2, b is equal to 3. All these are variables. Welcome string 
here it's a variable and you assign the value hello world and here a is again a variable and we assign the value 2 b we assign the value 3 and b is a variable similarly you can define say c and you can give a, a decimal value like 8.3 or 8.4 c is a variable again now that we have assigned a value to a variable let's print them out print and how do i print the value in a variable in the argument of the print function you just give the variable name welcome string and i want to print the values the variables a b and c hold as well so let me them up by providing the variable names within the parentheses of the print function print a print of b and print c okay let us save this and execute it python variable dot py you can see that we were able to print the value those variables are holding let us do something more with the variables so far we have just printed the values of the variables now let us try doing some mathematical operations with these variables in the last example we added numbers like 3 and 4 by directly using the values but here now we are going to make use of the variables that hold these values so instead of just adding the two numbers here let us add the variables like b and c how about we assign this some of these two variables to another variable say d d is equal to b plus c and it is not just enough that we assign the value of b and c to d but we need to print it out so let's print okay so let us see if this works as you can see we added the value 3 the, the variables that contain the value 3 and 8.4 and we got the result of d which is now 11.4 nothing but the sum of 8.4 and 3 let's go back to our program how about some string functions so we know we have a variable called welcome string that holds the value hello world how about we add one more variable name and let it have the value sham and now we want to concatenate these two strings hello world and sham how do we do that let us define another string new string and let us try using the same plus operator and see if that concatenation works welcome string plus name and let us print this new string hope you are able to follow this so let's execute this program it was able to concatenate these two strings hello world and shan together let us go back to our program let us define another variable e which can be a division of b and c b divided by c so the value of b was b is 3 and the value of c is 8.4 so 3 by 8.4 let's see what it what the answer is 0.35 so we have got a value here 